Welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to talk about how to find the terms of a binomial expansion. So to find the terms of a binomial expansion, we are going to use the formula n taken r times a raised to n minus r times b raised to r. When n taken r, that is a combination, and a is the first term of a binomial, b is the second term, and then n is the exponent of the binomial, and r, that is the term that we are looking for. So the formula is term minus 1. So this is the formula that we're going to use to find the terms of a binomial expansion. So let's start and let's have an example. On example number 1, we are going to find the fourth term in the expansion of x plus y raised to 5. So to find the fourth terms in the expansion of x plus y raised to 5, we are going to use the formula n taken r times a raised to n minus r times b raised to r, wherein n is the exponent, that is 5, then r, that is the term that we are looking for. So to find the value of r, we are going to use term minus 1, that is 4 minus 1, so therefore r is 3. Then, the first term of our binomial is x. Second term, that is y. So, these are the given that we're going to use to find the fourth term of the expansion of x plus y raised to 5. So, when we say n taken r, that is a combination. So, to find the combination of n taken r, we are going to have n cr, that is n factorial over n minus r factorial times r factorial. So since the value of r or n, that is 5 factorial over 5 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial. So when we say 5 factorial, that is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 5 minus 3, that is 2 factorial, that is 2 times 1. And then, 3 factorial, that is 3 times 2 times 1. So let's cancel this one. Then, 5 times 4 is 20, divided by 2 times 1 is 2. So therefore, 5 taken 3, that is 10. So this will be the value of our n taken r. So n taken r, that is 10. Then, first term, that is x, the value of n, that is 5, minus the value of r, 3, times b, that is y, raised to the value of r, which is 3. So, to simplify our answer, we have 10 times x, 5 minus 3, that is 2, then y cubed. So, to simplify our answer, we're going to have 10 times x raised to 2, that is 10x squared times y cubed. So the final answer is 10x squared y cubed. So this will be our answer. So to prove if our answer is correct, we're going to expand x plus y raised to 5. So we have x plus y raised to 5. And we are going to use Pascal's triangle to expand this one. And we are looking for the fourth term. So we have 1, then 1 and 1, then 1, 2, 1 in the second row. We have 1, 3, 3, 1. And then we have 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. And since the exponent is 5, we're going to have the fifth row. 1, 5, 10, 10, 5. 1. So these are the coefficients that we're going to use to expand x plus y raised to 5. So let's write first the coefficient. We have 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. So the first term is x. It's being raised from the highest to lowest exponent. And then y. It's being raised from the lowest exponent up to the highest exponent. So the first coefficient is 1 times the first term 
raised to the highest exponent 5 times y raised to 0. Then we have 5 times the first term x. So this time the exponent of x is 5 and then 4. Then we have y raised to 1 plus the third coefficient that is 10 times x raised to 3 that is 5 4 3 times y raised to 2 that is 0 1 2 and then the fourth term the coefficient is 10 then x the exponent of x this time that is 5 4 3 that is 2 and then y that is 3 then we have 5 times x raised to 1 y square plus 1 times x raised to 0 times y raised to 5. So to simplify our answer, we're going to have y raised to 0 is 1 times 1, that is 1 times x raised to 5, that is x raised to 5, plus x raised to 4, that is x raised to 4 times y raised to 1, that is 5, x raised to 4, y, plus then 10 x cubed, y square plus 10 x square y cube plus 5 x y raised to 4 so this is 4 plus x raised to 0 that is 1 1 times 1 is 1 times y raised to 5 that is y raised to 5 so since we are looking for the fourth term first second third fourth so this will be the fourth term so as you can see we come up with the same answer. So let's have another example. On number 2, we are going to find the fifth term in the expansion of the quantity of 2x minus 3y raised to 5. So to find the fifth term, let us identify first the given. So the value of n, that is 5, that is the exponent. And then r, so this is the term that we are looking for. So to find the value of r, we are going to use term minus 1. So since we are looking for the fifth term, that is 5 minus 1. So the value of r is 4. Then a, that is the first term, we have 2x. And then b, that is the second term, that is negative 3y. Then the formula that we're going to use to find the fifth term, that is n taken r times a raised to n minus r times b raised to r. So since we have n taken r, that is a combination, that is n c r, that is n factorial over n minus r factorial times r factorial. Since the value of n, that is 5 factorial over 5 minus r, that is 4 factorial, then 4 factorial. So to simplify, so when we have 10 or 5 factorial, that is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 5 minus 1 or 5 minus 4, that is 1 factorial or simply 1 times 4 factorial is 4, 3, 2, 1. So let us cancel this one. So 5 over 1, that is simply 5. So the value of n taken r is 5 times the value of a, that is 2x, a is to the value of n, which is 5 minus 4 times negative 3y raised to the value of r, which is 4. So to simplify, we have 5 times... 2x raised to 1, that is 5 minus 4, that is 1. And then, negative 3 raised to 4, that is 81. y raised to 4. So, to simplify our answer, we have 5 times 2x, that is 10x, times 81y raised to 4, that is 10 times 81, that is 810, x, 
y raised to 4. So this will be the fifth term of the expansion of 2x minus 3y raised to 5. What about number 3? We are going to find the third term in the expansion of the quantity of 2x minus 4y raised to 6. So to find the third term, let us identify the value of n, that is the exponent, which is 6, and then r. This is the term that we are looking for. So to find the term, that is term minus 1. So since we are looking for the third term, that is 3 minus 1, that is 2. So the value of r is 2. And then the first term, that is 2x. Then b is the second term, that is negative 4y. Then we are going to use the formula n taken r times a raised to n minus r times b raised to r. Since we have n taken r, that is n c r, it's a combination, we have n factorial over n minus r factorial times r factorial. Since the value of n is 6, that is 6 factorial over 6 minus r, that is 2, 6 minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. So, to simplify, 6 factorial, that is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 6 minus 2, that is 4 factorial, that is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Then 2 factorial, that is 2 times 1. So let us cancel this one. So we have 6 times 5, that is 30, over 2 times 1, that is 2. So therefore, the value of n taken r is 30 divided by 2 is 15. So we have here 15 times the value of a, that is 2x, raised to n, that is 6 minus the value of r is 2 and then negative 4y the value of b raised to r that is 2 so to simplify we have 15 times 2x 6 minus 2 is 4 times negative 4 raised to 2 that is 16 y square so to simplify our answer we have 15 times 2 raised to 4, that is 16. x raised to 4 times 16, y raised to 2. To simplify our answer, we have 15 times 16, that is 240 x raised to 4 times 16, y square. 240 times 16, that is 3840 x raised to 4 y square. So this will be the third term of the expansion of 2x minus 4 y raised to 6. So let's have the last example. On number 4, we are going to find the last term in the expansion of the quantity 3x plus 5y raised to 5. So, since the exponent is 5, the number of terms is 6. Keep in mind that whenever you have an exponent and to find the number of terms, we simply add 1 to the number of n or to the number of exponent. So, since the value of n is 5 and then r, that is the last term. So, to find the value of r, that is term minus 1, that is 6 minus 1. The last term is 6. Then 6 minus 1, that is 5. Then the value of a, which is 3x. Value of b, that is second term, that is 5y. So to find the last term, we are using formula n taken r times a raised to n minus r times b raised to r. n taken r, that is n CR, that is n factorial over n minus r 
factorial times r factorial. So, n factorial, that is 5 factorial, over the value of n is 5, and then r is also 5, that is 5 minus 5 factorial times 5 factorial. So, 5 factorial, that is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And then, 5 minus 5 is 0, 0 factorial. Then, 5 factorial, that is 5 4, 3, 2, 1. So when we have 0 factorial, 0 factorial is 1. So if we're going to cancel this 1, the value of 5 taken 5 is 1. Now, n taken r is 1 times the value of a, that is 3x. The value of n is 5 minus r, that is also 5, times b, which is 5y raised to r, that is 5. So to simplify, we have 1 times 3x raised to 5 minus 5, that is 3x raised to 0, times 5 raised to 5, that is 3,125 y raised to 5. 3x raised to 0, that is 1. 1 times 1 is 1 times 3,125 y raised to 5. So to write our final answer, we have 3,125 y raised to 5. So this will be the last term of the expansion of 3x plus 5y raised to 5. So I hope you learned from this video. Thanks for watching and see you again next time. God bless us all.